we were just talking about the solar panel placement to try yeah. and give us some sun, but we are at 100% after a day of travel, so. Yeah, on the road it charges a lot. The, the panel needs like direct sunlight to really do anything, like, to really charge. So like where we are right now, it's pretty shaded. The sun's bright, but it's there's too much shade. Like it needs kind of a direct hit. Um, in the morning, it might get a better coverage. So we've got these boards here to kind of even us out. And then I place them behind the tire and he drives up onto the board. That helps us to become level. The next step is you gotta truck the wheels and then we disconnect the truck. Next we take these bars. What are these bars called, Jeff? They help with like swaying, kind of? Or like, they kind of help with bumpiness. I don't really know what they do. Yeah, we gotta take those off. Now those are off and we gotta take the ball joint. Is that what it's called? I don't know, ball. A ball. Now we just level it out. Forward, back, use this level here, pretty simple. Okay, this is usually my job, so I put these boards down under the jacks. And then I go around to each one of these. And I just start cranking them down. Nothing to fear. You want to come join me? Sure. That's the way we'll take that. Yeah, that was the way we were supposed to take, but we took, you know, an alternative route. These mushrooms. Oh my gosh. We could cook those for dinner. Yeah. Wow, what the heck, holy. Jeffrey, how do you like this provincial park? It's nice. Yeah, we like it here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the hike tomorrow. I think that'll be pretty cool. Fortunately, well, not unfortunately, just we're only staying here for one night, so. Yeah. I mean, it's like... We're pretty far from everything else. Like, this is out of the way, so it's not like there's a ton to do, but, but we also nice don't want to feel rushed, the thing. and it's really nice. It's like, we just drove all day today. That's what I'm thinking, is we drove all day today. But... You know, tomorrow we'll go on the hike in the morning and then we'll just go to we'll just play it by ear. Or go wherever. Yeah. We might go to Mactaquack next, which is on the St. John River, or we might just stay here an extra night. But the nice part is that not a lot of things are booked, so we have a lot of flexibility. Like, we're surrounded by no one right now. Mm hmm. So. We have a really nice site too, like. I don't know, I just like it a lot. Yeah, I'll show you. This is our site. Jeff's got the hammock there. Nice fire pit. Picnic table and the AirPod. Good morning. 
It's the next day. It's 620 and we're going for a sunrise hike at Mount Carlton. I'm shaking right now. We just saw two moose. We got really close to them. I think they're gone. They just like kind of ran away. But I've been carrying this the whole time and I'm pretty glad that I've been doing that. Because, yeah, they're making noise. They're making noise. Well. Okay, Juliet. Stay close to me. I'm going to continue. I seriously don't think that I've ever done a hike this hard. Yeah. I would, I would like love to be back in Tobamori right now, hiking on that trail, yeah. the grotto that took us all day. Yeah. And we had to hitchhike and all that. Like I'd rather be doing that than, than this for sure. This is terrible. Yeah, you, I, I wish that you could hear the wind. I'm just worried about it picking up. Well, we're going down now, so we'll probably be back in the forest, I'm thinking. Yeah. Which will be less bad, and like, the wind's coming from this way. Yeah. And we're going to be on the other side of the hill, so the hill, the, uh, it might block the wind. Yeah. I thought it was bad when we saw it, and we came within like 30 feet of two moose. Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm scared to go back down. Wish us luck. I'm thankful that we made that. Me too. We're alive. Yeah. Thankfully. I would say that is a very difficult hike. Yeah. On the scale of difficulty from 1 to 10, with 10 being the most difficult, what is that? Um. I'm going to give it a 9. Well, if you take into account... The weather we had when we did that, just like all around our experience doing it, it, it was like a eight or a nine for mm -hmm. sure. But I feel like if we had done it at a different time, mm -hmm. like another day, not at 6 a.m., <laughs> I feel like it would have been better. Yeah. It took us how long to get up? Three hours and 27 minutes. It's a little bit more than that because I started this like point four. Mm -hmm. Wow, now it's sunny. We've made it to Mactaquack. It's so yeah. nice. It's funny because this morning we were hiking to the tallest peak in the Maritimes. Now we're at Mactaquack. Look at the sky. It's just like crazy. fell down this thing. So what do you think of Fundy? 
yeah, we just got to the national park. We made yeah. it to Alma Beach. Yep. <laughs> it's low tide. This morning, this was all water. Yeah. You'd be totally underwater right now. Yes. But now you can walk out here and uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It just keeps going. So this is usually all water all the way to that town. So we're pretty far out. We've been walking for a while. We're gonna have a little picnic. Yeah. Harvest the moon tonight. Wow. It's red and glowing and perfect. You can barely see it, but it's coming up quite fast actually. It's quite cool. Wow. We didn't even know we were gonna see this tonight. No. It's a nice surprise. <laughs> 